of, but they came through there, uh, despite the, the, the fan support that was there at Makulong, and it was a fervent support. You know, people were there, they were filling up the stadium, and there was a vibe. It was almost similar to where you were before yeah. in Toy and Do, yeah. where that fan base made Highlands Park what it is. Yeah. But then to just cut it the way that it did, what, what lessons, what has that taught you as Owen de Gama? I think, Rob, Rob um, first and foremost, I, I just think that communication is important. Yeah. You've got to communicate uh, uh, certain things so that people can understand where the team is going. Right. And by communicating, you never know what can come back from that communication. You can get more information. You can get something that can help the club. Mm. Uh, but I just, I just found that the, the, um, the we only officially knew. We, we heard things, you know, but um, we knew after our last game mm -hmm. in the bubble that the team is sold. You knew after the last game? After the last game. Once we completed the last game, we went to a, um, a prize giving, and that's when, we, when, when I was told that uh, no we've we've sold the team so all along you're playing for your lives you're playing for the potential of being in the top eight yes you you you're hoping some players maybe reach a top five of the top goal scorer awards or something yeah. so all along nothing official besides the rumors that have been floating around yeah. do you know that the team is being sold up until then yes um, i mean it was and you know rob we went through the the, the bubble unbeaten you know we never lost one game and um we just we just tried even some of the stories that you were hearing mm. we were just trying to 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 manage the situation with the players and trying to motivate them as much as possible and um there peter shalile got the you know the joint top goal scorer yeah. award and it, it was good we missed the the top eight um uh, on goal difference because of goal difference right so um yes uh, towards the end it, you know you could see that there's a bit of uh, tension within the, in, in the team. Um, the players approached me once. They, they, they saw it on, 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 the, um, on, on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And they asked me, what's happening, coach? And I had to manage the situation uh, because we still had two games to go. Mm. Try to manage the situation. Try to tell them, guys, just leave that. We'll be officially told by the club yeah. and, and, and we'll be informed you know, at, at the right time. Uh, but I, I still feel that the communication was a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit poor there. But when you raise these issues with the then management of the club, to talk about your displeasure in mm -hmm. as far as how they handled the whole situation, what is their response? I mean, surely they would have come up with some excuse to say to you, no, this and that. W what was it? And did you even understand it? I, I think from the little bit that I gathered, mm -hmm. Rob, is that they were it, it was, the sale was there, but it was not, it was not yet finalized. Right. So they didn't want to come and say the the club is sold and it's not sold again, and then it's sold, you know. They wanted to, to finalize it, but I mean, um, it was finalized. I mean, after our last game, it was finalized, mm -hmm. you know. We're told that it's final, it's done. The deal is done, everything is, is through. But that's crazy. There's th and there's no, I mean, there's no turning back, obviously. Yeah. Um, it is what it is. But for the players, sure. the players. Sure. That, that's a big one. That's a big and one. And they still had contracts. Yes. And some players didn't have contracts. Wow. So you felt it for the, the players that have got contracts. Yes, maybe they can still get something mm. out of, you know, the, the deal. But the players that didn't have contracts, that was very painful for me, Rob. Because now, where do they go? Where do they go? Th there hasn't been much time, mm. you know, to try and search for a club. And where do they go? So I think that, I'm just happy Capini got a, a contract. Uh, but some of the other guys are still, uh, are still in, in, lim in, in limbo yeah. as we speak. And, and that to me, the uncertainty about your future. What's yeah. going to happen now? Where are you going? What do you do now? Mm. That uncertainty, I still have a bit of experience to be able to handle that. Mm. But I think of the, of, of the younger people, I think of somebody like Simone Conley, you know? Suddenly, there's nothing now. She gave up her practice full time. She yeah. did a sterling job there. Yeah. The goalkeeper coach, Victor Chabalala, you know? 
it's it 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 really it's Rowan Fernandez. It's yeah. really just got cut there, and it was it it, it was actually a. Um, it was it was painful, Rob. It was painful when you think of these people that died for the team. You know, they gave everything. You talk about the fitness of the team. That was one of the key factors that everybody talks about. Yeah. The agility of the team. The fact that when it came to injuries, you were not suffering as much as yeah. other clubs or the teams that maybe didn't keep a regular program, yeah. especially under the bio bubble. Yeah. But for the entire season. That says something about a Simone, for example, yes. who was able to get a, a stranglehold in an environment that, again, she's working as a female in, yeah. in this male-dominated scenario. Yeah. But she's able to get probably one of the fittest teams that's in the league. Strongest, fittest, fastest teams. She was just unbelievable. Yeah. You know, um, she's just gifted, and and she's a professional, a true professional. And I. I met her when I was with the National Under-23 team. I met her with the Kiona team, mm. and I could see what she's done there. I mean, we qualified with the Under-23 team, Correct. and she was in charge of the fitness, of the yeah. strength, of everything, the agility. So she did a, 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 the, 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 the rehab, the injury prevention. It, she was just, uh, just on another level, mm. and, and, that really, and that really helped. For her now, suddenly, what happens tomorrow, you know? It, it was actually, it was actually, it was actually very sad. I mean, to, to use the discussion to bring in, uh, you, you're an ex-football player. We yeah. know where your heart was. Yeah. Before. Yeah. We see Swallows coming back now. They might not have the name Morocco Swallows, but yeah. they are Swallows FC for yeah. now. But it's the same Swallows. Yes. You, you can yes. say. Yeah. The loss of the history. Yeah. of football you know and, and this is where as a former player yourself and as a former coach of clubs and national teams wh when you see this erosion of history the erosion of a 99 year history with Vitz, the erosion of Highlands Park yeah. the you know there was talk then of Bloemfontein Celtic maybe they've sorted things out I don't know yeah. uh, the erosion of Mpumalanga Black Aces yeah. and so on so it, it seems to be a pattern now that hey guys we're struggling to get promotion because football is about competition yes we're struggling to get promotion to the elite league yeah let's buy a status yeah. let's buy a status let's and then you take that history and you move it to another province yeah. and you change the name and you do all of these things yeah i mean how do you feel if you had to remove your current situation where you are now but yeah. you look at where we will be football wise maybe yeah. many years to come yeah Rob, I just think that um, there should be some sort of um, measures put into place yeah. where if you buy a Highlands Park, it must remain a Highlands Park for a certain number of years just to protect that, mm. that, that culture or the image. If you, if you, if you buy a Pumalanga Aces, it should st stay like that for a couple of years just to protect mm. and also to protect the employees and, and the, 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 the players, the technical team. There should be some measures how to protect mm. people like that because now... You know, it, it, it's just, it, it's like, it's like even if you've got a contract, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I, I, I just believe that um, um, if you want to buy a team, if, 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 you, if you feel you want to buy a team, it's your prerogative. You can buy the team. Right. But I just, I just think that sometimes you must try and keep the history of the team just to protect the people. Mm. Try and keep the history of the team, have it for three, four years, and then you, you, you're able to change it to another name. But just to break that down and just, you know. Yeah, because you, you see so many times, though, and, and I would tend to agree with you, people say, no, but they do it even um, in, in, in Europe or England or whatever. And you say, no, but yeah, and then Bramovich might come in yeah. and buy Chelsea, but he doesn't take it to Russia with him, yes. you know. Uh, whether whoever's investing in, in, in Man City as well, they don't yes. take it to uh, the Middle East or take yeah. it wherever. I, they maintain that. So if the Americans are buying into Liverpool, they're not taking it to Chicago or California. They remain there as shareholders or even the same with Manchester United. Yeah. They're investing in the club to remain yes. within there. Surely that's how the business should be done. Otherwise, there would be no history to talk about as far as South African football is concerned. Yeah, I agree with you fully, yeah. Rob. I mean, um, you look at Wits, I mean, yeah. just, just like that, you know. 
You look at Highlands Park with a crowd, the supporters. What happens to those supporters? What happens to those supporters? You know, you, you build this fan base, you build a culture, yeah. and it just destroyed like that within one day. I think that uh, that is a pity. And you, you can try and understand from the new owners what they, wh what they, they would like to achieve. Mm. But I think if you, if you buy a team like Wits, um, I definitely think that culture should be maintained. I definitely think so. If you buy a Highlands Park, they must play at Makulong, mm -hmm. and the culture should be maintained for n for a number of years. I just I I, I agree fully with you. So you you'd rem you remember the micro bottoms of this world, the Rod Andleys, Jimmy Cooks, sure. whether it's a Mike Mangena, Mike and Dombella, uh, you know, being the first Dakis really to go play for this yeah. uh, previously white team. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the Zane Moosas who came and they did what they did and they brought the flair and the skill and. And then it's gone. Just gone. Gone like that. You know, and then what happens? I know that they had a very, I think John Lathan used to be a part of it where they had a whole yes. structure yes. of the juniors, whether yes. it was under 12, under 15, uh, under 19, and so on. Yeah. They had a whole layer. They had a whole setup and a structure that worked. Yeah. Then what? You spit on that and you say, let's move on. Yeah. It's, it, it's such a pity, uh, Rob, because I, I, I also feel that um, there should be. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand how the PSL does it. I'm yeah. not there to criticize the PSL. But I definitely think if you want to buy a team, you must have money. Right. You must have money. Don't buy a team and you want to make money out of the team. Then you just kill everything. You kill everything. You, you can't want to take from the grants money and say, no, this is for me. <laughs> you know, I'm buying a team, but I know I'm going to take 500,000 from you. If you buy a team, you must have, have money. money. Yeah. You must have the money. Yeah. You know, it's as simple as that. Because then you start to lose the essence of why a football team is there. Exactly. Is it to enrich you, the individual, or is it to create a culture and to create a football learning that is there? Yeah. You know, everybody still talks about the Durban City days or the bush bugs, and everybody uh, mourned the death of uh, an Umtata yeah. bush bugs as well. So the Independent Stadium, you know, as it was the slaughterhouse back yeah. then, uh, now it's a shopping mall, yes, you know, life carries on, life moves yeah. on. You look at the state of an Audi Stadium or yeah. Mabato and so yeah. All of these things point back to what is the direction long term yeah. of football holistically around the country. Yeah. Because you don't want to centralize the power, oh, and I think the, 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 the biggest problem and the danger is yeah. that if you want to centralize it and make it about Kaudeng, yeah, you're losing it, it. Yeah. you know. Yeah. You, you, and you remember the yeah. Durban City days, exactly. Abos Dambo, uh, yeah. Rodney Charles, and Mervyn Hopflesh, and everybody yeah. else that was part and parcel of that. That was, for me, football being sprinkled around yes. all over the country, fan bases yeah. popping up all over the place. Yeah, I think ideally you, you'd, you'd want uh, uh, um, one or two teams in all the provinces. Yeah. You know, you, you, you'd want to spread it around. Um, but then you also have the situation where we as uh, Silver Stars went to play at, um, uh, in Rustenburg. Mm. And we, 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 we ended second on the log. We won the Telkom Cup. And we had 35 people watching us. You. 35 people watching us. Wow. And you're second on the log. And you've just won the Telkom Cup. So I, I, I think also you, 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 there, there, there are those bases where you can go. Yeah. Like, I mean, in Tata. Mutata always filled the stadium. Yeah. Always. Standard. Didn't matter who you're playing yeah. with. Always yeah. filled the stadium. Yeah. Whether it's Chiefs, you're playing Chiefs, or you play uh, um, uh, Swallows, or you play any team. Yeah. Always fills, they always fill the stadium. Because there was a desire, again, you know, I, I know that in terms of where we are, and, and maybe we're just trying to make sense of all of this to so the people that are watching, is, is that history. So when you went to Mutata, because people waited and they knew, hey, guys, at least in the league, let's say we are talking about a 16 team, I know it was 18 and 20 before, yeah. then at least, hey, y you've got 15 games that are going to be coming to the independent stadium. Yeah. And then you look forward to it, and it's a whole big merry affair. And you've got to give credit to the Sturu Pasillas oh, you know, for making it happen. Unbelievable. You know, Truck Molotto was there. Yes. They made this happen. But the culture is gone. Yeah. You know, even Day Swanyan at Lexstop City, you know, they yes. were there. With, you know, that's yes. where Phil popped up yes. and uh, BMX sports and they also popped up from there. Yeah. Again, small area, but great uh, township. I mean, Fabian McCarthy yeah. is, yes. is a guy from Glexdorp, yes. and you know they yes. talk about this from time to time. 
is that we've lost that essence. Yeah. Oh, and then for me, that is yeah. a concern, is that how do we wrestle that back yeah. instead of over-commercializing that that is football? Yeah, I, I, st I, I still maintain what I'm saying, Rob. Yeah. If you want to come into, into football, come and put your money where your mouth is. Come with money. Mm. Don't come and try and turn it into a business when you, where you can gain from. Mm -hmm. And the team just doesn't grow. Mm -hmm. You can see that the team is, is not going anywhere. You want to see teams competing. You saw, you saw what, what happened to Leicester. I mean, Leicester went from an oh. ordinary team. They won the league. They just beat 35 the other day. Yeah. You know, so you yeah. want teams to grow. You want teams to grow. You don't want, um, and I, I like what Dr. Koza said the other day. Mm. He said that, you know, anybody can beat anybody in the PSL. And that, uh, that is a good thing for the PSL. And, you know, you want teams to grow. You, do, you don't want a team to be there all the time, down there all the time, yeah. down there all the time. You know? Relegation, Relegation and all the time. And, yeah. you no, know, you want a team to grow. But the only way to grow is if you invest in... You know, I, I always take off my hat uh, um, you, you know, for sundowns. Because mm. they say sundowns are buying this player and buying that player. That's good. <laughs> Why don't the other teams do it? Because yeah. you want to make it a better league. Yeah. S um, uh, pirates are buying players, you yeah. know, and so on. Yeah. So I think it's a good thing. You know, you, you, you're, you're envious at, time, uh, at times, you know, um, because of what they're doing. But it's a good thing. You've got to take off your hat and say you're investing in the game. You're building a, a powerful brand. And that's what we should, that's what everybody should be doing. Amazing, because, I mean, as we're speaking, yeah, I saw Preble's group, it says, imagine uh, buying Orlando Pirates or kinds of Chiefs and you move them to Mbumalang. Yeah. Hey, imagine. 50-year-old yeah. and a team that was born in 1937. Yeah. So you're taking those histories and you're saying, guys, we've got to sell, let's pack up and go. It'll yeah. change the landscape of South African football. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that, that we should be investing in teams. And we should be making sure that teams grow, Rob. Mm -hmm. That's the only way how you'll create a bigger vibe. And that's, and that's where the future of our country lies. All right, we got our super sub that's going to be coming through. He'll join Owen because uh, he's no stranger uh, to ODG. Yeah, he'll tell us exactly when they work together as well. So that's a junior Kanye. Uh, so stick around. He is going to be coming onto the show. Uh, he'll join us. We'll all three of us be here together uh, talking football, addressing a lot of your questions. So uh, keep those coming through. Thank you so much. I know that uh, uh, the line dropped. I don't know what technology did for about 10 minutes, but uh, we've been back up and I love the messages. I'm seeing them coming through uh, so keep pumping those here odg is here uh ufaladi babasu says here about odg uh, to own a club you must have money some uh, use the tender money uh, to run clubs and when the tenders dry out they're going to be failing to pay the players may god continue to bless uh, dr patrice mutsipe as far as that is concerned scott goodenna says peter shadulila's career is finished why do they why, why did Owen Tagama don't advise him to go to teams like Cape Town City? <laughs> hey, it's, it's difficult. I mean, you can't advise players because they, they, they get offers. Yes. And whatever the offers are, they sit down with their agents and they decide on what to do. Yeah, but they also don't have much to do with you. Also, in the, in the, in the situation of Peter Shaulile and Matobi Vala, yeah. they were excluded from the sale of the club. Excluded? Excluded. They were not part of the club of the team that was sold. Okay. So um, then I think the Sundowns came in and made a good bid and, 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 uh, and through the agents, obviously, yeah. and, and with Highlands Park. They came in and made a good bid. So how do you stop that? You can't tell the player, don't go there, go to that team. You know, it's very difficult because they deal with agents and they've got the right to, to um, get the best possible deal for themselves. Yeah, I think Pumlani Somatala agrees with you in saying that unfortunately the buying and selling of teams won't change, but rather keep the status of the team uh, for a period of time. So that's exactly what ODG uh, was saying earlier on and fully in agreement uh, with that comment that's just to come through. All right, I think Clayman, uh, I see him there, he's warming up. I don't know why, he <laughs> looks excited. He looks like he's been away. I don't even think he slept tonight, <laughs> last night, the night before, or any other night. But last week, if you remember, I did ask him the question because then they had just announced the assistant coaches for Gavin Hunt. Atazwane was there, Dylan Shepard was there. 
And one of the most important answers that he gave was to this. L listen to his answer. Yes. Jobang is young in anything called art. I would definitely the legend of Kaza. She's a plate with him, so nearly got to see two and in him to leader. He legend, a only knowledge in Kulmang club. But coaching wise, in going examined improve. Mobang she long last summer's Kuma Mina now. Michelle would mock Sukan. Job at that it took over. Before Kunge no Atega Banabo talked, I understand about this, but Atta took over, I think it's about six years now. And then I'm going to find out if it's like a cloud. And so for me, like I'm waiting. But the sponsor, because Pushayo, we MTC. Osborne, I say, when we're just in Jan. More Perabong or Boyni gang, a photo come gale, a Zanjan Zaki, we born a Ganjan. Yeah, then Donna Longobo, a Yamniga lap. But number in Funamo, remember the Iminia Rachel, Meli Apieri. You cannot bring on over success alone. No, he into any promising career and winning up and in terms of a sabang and into one. It's a person who he coach your mundo on a pilveli, who the ending in the little alangai. So at the young it mean a young child, a means is called a band of medieval in the car club. In terms of the Mucheli, the Hotman Lapa, Agmelanga sense of faith. Spitting fire, clean man. <laughs> hey, the clean man is here, man. Hey, welcome back, sir. Uh, thanks, Khotman uh, and Jobang Zosho. You only could have been given a chance by God and ancestors. I think we have an opportunity to give you a chance. Yes, Luba. We have to insist on Uba Bakhtin. We have to insist on Uba Bakhtin. We have to insist on Uba Bakhtin. Yeah, I have to insist on Uba Bakhtin. 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 Yeah. It's the thinking of the film. Ring when you was good in protect. Yeah, very supportive, and uh, I'm touched. Man, in and I'm yeah. like definitely. Yeah. So, wa, wa, what's that chance? Got to wire as good. Hey, the man bane kone ni pizza shy. Yeah, football Imam, wise, uh, being angry. Yeah, la la, it's cut. Hey, 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 but why it has in Sunday? Yeah, football. He told me, coach, we bane one on one. Yeah. What the junior, this team, I like uh, disciplined players. Yeah, uh, I get confused with the problem. Only team. Remember, I play. Yeah. If you are messed up, they will say junior can't play. We Highlands Park. So, Oganye Mshambi, we case that she's a brand. But then, we silver stars. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to play in football. Yes, we have my running king of the field. So always be on monitor. Yeah, being number problem, being no figure lead, being sustaining things cool, being cool. But then being not eating. Oh, I saw people who are jealous. Kona ba buga yo ba funu wa zote yin lezi ingengo bona zonge zote sa kuli mna zonge zote wa upsha mina kuto zonge zote wa upsha kwa 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 Unai influence ke mimi is a star player. In most mimi na mengi mengi la bingu fungu nza something for a team. So ama results bwa showa whenever I'm playing. But definitely show a problem bingu ba ipiwa. It's a reality. Now Owen, the gamer, takes that risk and says, Junior Kanye, I see you and I see that you're a problem child. But I can also see the potential that lies within this problem child. Why do you risk it that much and and why? Did you identify him as being able to come through to Silver Stars? Take us through that thinking. Yeah, I just think, Rob, um, you know, I, I say to myself, that's what I would like somebody to do for my son one day. Right. You know, he's a child. He's got parents. He's got a family. So try and help him as much as possible, mm -hmm. you know. And, and um, I took him under my wing. I said, I know you're, a, you're a, a naughty guy, but don't worry. As long as you perform on the field... And you try and, and do your best because you're, sur you're surrounded with a lot of uh, disciplined players, a very disciplined team, so we'll help you. And um, all you've got to do is you might just go onto the field and do the business. But, but you see, Rob, the most important thing, the most important thing was to say, why can't I give him a chance when, he, wh when he's talented? Mm. When he is ta we know he's talented. You don't throw players away. You try and help them and groom them and try and advise them as much as possible. But isn't that the, 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 the sad part is that some, somehow I, I always feel that people like to see players down. I mean, it's, it's like Junior right now, having found a voice, 
then you're going to find people that will criticize us. Ah, man, ukurimaga ko lomuntu man. I'll criticize. No, no. But if you're here as an analyst, what are you supposed to do? Speak. So you can't yes. criticize someone for speaking a lot on a platform where you're supposed to be speaking. So what must he come and do here? Come fold his mm -hmm. arms and look around and say, beautiful place. Uh, let me build a tent here. Mm -hmm. Give a person a chance. Yes. Rob, and he, he knows football, eh? he oh, understands yes. football, he can talk the game oh, yes. and he knows the game. I've, I've spoken to him a lot and he knows the game. And these are the players that you want to come, the ex-players to come forth and, and talk so that the other, young, the, the other youngsters can, can learn from him and say, okay, he made this mistake, but then he rectified it. Look where he is today. Right. He's somewhere today. He made a mistake, but he realized that yeah. I'm making a mistake. And he, he doesn't want those youngsters to do the same mistakes. He doesn't want. So we need, we need people like, like, like juniors in, in our football. Yeah, absolutely. Because, uh, I mean, Junior, th that's the kind of thing Owen is talking about. And as a father figure, somebody who was able to lead you, I mean, how do you address that to the youngsters that are watching? And I always see on social media after we've had the show or during the show, they're almost like, hey, man, Junior, how, how did you and, and how did you... How important was that for when uh, I mean, address that issue. Yeah, first of all, uh, if you admit God in your life, Mauti, you don't blame anyone. You, 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 and the self introspection, you sit down, you say, Oh, Jay, Luz Bega, go me, Rama, answers of it. With mm. Mooch Junior, I've done one, two, three, four. Agna Mundonga Puzzi Suchoala, Agna Mundonga to sleep with a woman, no one. Mm. You cannot do that. You must take it away, and I was, we should make us blame. But to run you, not person who's blame, made was good to me and Zamaput. And then tell the best you are shallow, peggy me, and I'll always steal. Which okay. I played for Casa Chiefs, mm. I played for National Under 20, Under 23, uh, Bafana. Uh, but what let's also into where are they now? My list was cut in Kulmanga previously sure. when I was down. And then we are born good to that's nothing. It's mean nothing. Gone. You understand? Mm -hmm. People want something now. I mean Mangzo phone any coaching as example, meeting for is span by then. Nizas with your trainer. The coach will ask a question with when last did you play your last game? So it's very important as a player. Talent only is not enough. Laba Fana Batali Pola now they must know. Mm -hmm. Talent only is not enough. It's very important for you. You must know when you are given, you only has been given a platform. Sure. Many players today, top class as the coaching is really, when I'm a player that the team is sold new, some of them they say no. Not to say they are paid. Ukumbulet goes, Ugutbafuna ba, Ningale Soskati. So I'm a player as a manning. They must know what you only could have been given a chance, and you are lucky if you are there. Mm. It's one of the topiest. Imagine Absa Manchester TV mm. uh, 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 premiership. premiership yeah. So Mouse of Figure will be part of that. The profile, individually. You create layers in future for your kids. Mm. You understand? So, your reputation, it's very important to go to the You must be professional enough. Mm. It, it doesn't have to be somebody who would analyze yourself. You understand? In the number of results as well. Whether it's playing, whether going forward, people will, 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 will invest. Nobody will just invest to somebody that will find himself. Because you can't invest in somebody like that. When you grow up, this was in your born. That's why I need to thanks, uh, Rodman. I'm lucky. I'm, uh, I, I, I believe with uh, previous being Pilar and I'm a superstars. Keith mm -hmm. Lerima was my close friend. When he died, we were together at night and then he left heavily drunk. Mm -hmm. And then Collapsing accident died. Emmanuel Ngobese was my close friend. Superstars. You understand? Today, Umfana Udali only forces in it because I choose. Imagine if he played 10 or 12. Like Jesus. But he was a mm. superstar himself. Mm. But the life was cut because of his years as mm. yeah, I'm still alive. Thanks, God. So it's a living testimony. Abanyabantu Melanga was a life. You might go not coming back at all. Mm. You understand? So uh, thanks, God, and my ancestors. Mm. If you are spiritually healed, everything will follow. Yeah. No, so, uh, because I know that Owen is equally a highly spiritual person. Last time I, I tried to get hold of him, he told me he just come back from church or was in church. He couldn't answer the phone. So you, you, that resonates pretty much with what your beliefs are. Your set yeah. of principles is being able to stand up, dust yourself off, and then live the kind of life as a former professional but as somebody now who's living a different life and again been given maybe a second or third chance you don't know but that spirituality that he talks about that is key to grounding him that's profound that is profound rob you yeah. know um 
I'm actually getting a bit sentimental about it, you know. Once you put God in front of you, yeah. once you live a, a life and, 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 and you put him ahead of everything, everything just changes. Mm. Everything changes. And I think that's something that uh, we, we did very well at Highlands Park. We used, we used to be very spiritual in the team. We'd pray before training, pray after training. We'd make sure that we even pray when we eat. We, 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 do, we put God in front of everything. And I think that's so profound that he discovered that. And um, uh, it, it, it can only help a lot of other people. Rob. Absolutely. The, the footballing side, uh, you know, let me just, uh, uh, I'll get all of your comments as well. I mentioned 15 players at Chipper United today shown the door. You know, thank you, goodbye, cheers clean out. I mean, I haven't seen that oh, I don't know in how many years where so many players are shown the door at once. I mean, from your um, Diamond Tupula who's been loaned out to your Tasha Malepe who's been loaned up. Uh, you've got Rose Kamaldian has been, you know, told as well that it's, it's all over. Lechlono Lamasalisa also, uh, you know, it's done for him. Uh, Kevin Moyo, Elvis Moyo, uh, you've got Ryan Bartman, William Twala, Mishak Mapangule. You've you got all of these players that are there. I mean, even Tabor Akhale also, they're not going to renew his contract. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's so many names, but Abdella, let's dig into this. Let's talk yeah. about what's happened. Mina, first of all, I don't know. Can somebody tell me, uh, Mr. Chipampingis, the guy does he understand the game? It's a question. I mean, if we release more than five coaches, different, mm. and then we've got a problem. I think in Kulmangan personally, in Guenya itself, it owner, does he know the guys of Funa? The guy. Mm. I mean, in Maurilisa, Abantaban Jangaraba, he lent up in Saibuza, a Rotman Uchi, you bring Ulthonan Osema at Plumfontein Celtics, you give him a mandate. He's a coach, did well, young coach, promising, bright future ahead of him. D12 for Celtics Creative Foundation, right? You nigga imente to Ambiza. It's him good relocation. Uti, Stella us save relocation. So, and the questioning Ibuza, um, Utak Selevis relocation. Do we have enough resources now? And then, um, nigga imente to next season, we want to be finishing with number five, Sfuni Ili, Ilo, I trophy, we should I cup. So, we understand that when we make those decisions, Abanya Bantaban and knowledge of football, but that's what's my question. You've been chasing coaches left and right. You understand? Mm -hmm. You never stay with the coach, you contract that you mm -hmm. So your reputation, you're killing your reputation as well as the chairman. That's why I need to make decision to for them. Yeah. These players that I mentioned here, I'm surprised, very surprised. I mean, if being given a fair chance, I'm a team manning, even cheese parrots, these players, they can walk in. Abu Rahali, Tapola, Mapangule, find himself very good player, talented. He never got the platform at Orlando Pirates, but the talent is there. Mm -hmm. We understand anyone was given a platform was playing. If it was maybe better if this Kumanga Bandabanga a tongue impact, the team is a safe relocation now. Yeah. It seemed like it is stabilized the corner and then release players. And I'm sure I'm sure Ulfonolo is very clever. His team is balanced. You cannot just leave young stars. The league is big, mm -hmm. Rodman. Mm -hmm. You need to balance the team. It's him a community be balanced. You cannot play with young stars only. You need young stars are more and more ambitious, but with experience. You build a team around e experience. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, Le Ebayan Zemanj. I see this team Guzoban and King Gulelikle. Forty. We should also be a relegation. I'm sorry, Gusho, so he's going to fight the coach. Because I know it's no, no, it's like in a structure. Yeah. In a culture, I'm a fan of the culture. No. Even a culture, a structure, philosophy, individual brand. It's easy for you to identify a national player, to point a national organic player. Pegalia team be saying John. I mean, you should not be chole manje. Gunguti be saying any chela. Right. I was surprised even re releasing the coach of Mapesa. What is his name? So no man. Yeah. No man. Mm. Very surprised because the guy, the team be getting intensity high. Yeah. The team be balanced. The guy knows football. We need the team be like fitness. Maga figure away for fitness. Yeah. And then release the coach. In the game, in the banya band, they might not see. In the banya in the game, they don't know. In the banya melege is big man. Imerin. With in South African football, what is he trying to achieve as a chairman? But when I'm advised to in Oba Genzeg and Phantom Thailand is probably over 18, 19 coaches. As he is Zangan as a Puma Zangan as a Puma Zangan as a Puma Zang. When I'm all straight, yeah, who my advisor Utin. Can I advise him? Can he learn from Petrus Motsipi? He appointed Pizom Simang with many squad. 
isqwatisa ibudget bekuphuma ibudget eningi with big names amanye bewangadlali he came the coach gave three season first season he find himself relegation zone second season bebalwela u number 1 ushukuthi manje mje kuya dominate is winning 10 years they've been dominating he kept the coach that he appointed he had belief in him he didn't listen to ukubheka abanye abantu emasaidi belief you sign the coach you believe you don't listen to viewers was when the decision error he must learn abantu abanje ngabo petrus motsipi is proven it's not dark and doubt ngese bale proven he must learn to people like patient you appoint somebody you cannot be involved relax <laughs> yeah and, and when you talk about that i mean Owen, you you would know there have been some clubs that you've coached where there's that whole interference that junior is talking about and he's saying learn to know where you are as a club owner versus where you are as a coach so i think when he references patrice i think after having gone for certain coaches and different coaches and the yuan neskins of the world he realized that you know what home is where the football knowledge is and that's when they started their winning trend and that's where they are now winning titles left right and center how do you answer to that where you just revolving and revolving in and out and in and out as a coach i think he's he's so he's so he's so he's so he's, he's, he's put it perfect yeah rob and it it boils down to what i said the illusion of knowledge you think you know football as a club owner but <laughs> you, you you don't really know football you think you know football and then you try and hear from this guy, hear from this guy, and then you pretend that those words are coming from you. This is what's happening in South African football. You hear things from people, mm -hmm. and then they come and talk. So I think a, a club owners must understand that they must headhunt their coach, headhunt him, mm -hmm. and say, I believe in this guy. He, he, I'm, going mm -hmm. I'm going to work with him mm -hmm. until, and give him a chance. Don't put him under pressure give him a chance to build and get the and, and get the best for you in i mean i mean yeah. that is so true so i definitely think that it's it's when we listen to a lot of people a lot of noise coming through a lot of noise, of, of noise. Yeah, this yeah, one yeah. says no you must yeah. do this yeah, yeah. i know of club owners that actually after the game they have a private meeting from other coaches that are not employed by the team mm. Wow. And they hear from these coaches or they phone them. What do you think of our game today? It was on television. No, your team is too defensive. Your team is... And th that's where it starts. When you listen to all these noises, all these, uh, these stories. So I think it's important um, uh, for club owners to understand yeah, yeah. that they've got to believe in their coaches. Because the one thing, and it's a very popular question that's coming out as well on our comments um, page, on the YouTube channel right now, they trying to ask again from a coaching perspective. I'll start with you, Owen. Is how long do you need as a coach to actually get the team to believe in your philosophy, to believe in the structure that you're putting through, and to get your ideals through to the team? And you start to see, oh, you know, like uh, Pep Guardiola will come to a Man City. Man City never used to play the way that they play now, you know, but all of a sudden, that ticky tacky type of football starts to yeah. come in. So that's the identity. That's the footprint that has been able to bring in now. You look at a Leeds United as well. They play yeah. the most attractive football because it mm. comes from the coach. Yeah, Bielsa, yeah. 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 I think, um, Rob, it, it's two things. It's resources <laughs> and time. Um, depending on the, on the resource, I mean, when, when Pep Guardiola came in, he got ro rid of Joe Hart, the, the oh, number one... one. England, England goalkeeper. goalkeeper. Mm. Yeah, you got yeah, rid yeah. of him. First one. Because you thought he, he can't play from the you can't play from the back. Yeah. You know? Um, so allow him to instill his his philosophy in the team. But you must you must believe in him. And then it depends on the resources as well. Try and help as much as possible. Try and get the right uh, players and allow the coach to build a, a, a very, very strong team. Absolutely. Now, Kleinman, you, you've said people's tongues wagging uh, right now as we're chatting. People are saying 100%, you're talking facts, you're directing it in the right direction. Owen mentioned earlier, believe in the coach, even if it's long term, support him. And one always thinks of the Steve Compella kind of chief scenario yeah. where people are like, ah, get rid of him. But 
the chairman was like, no, I'm fully supportive of that until things happened at, uh, at the Moses Mabita Stadium and the stadium was, yeah, shambles. But he stuck with him because he believed in him. Some of the results that were happening with Steve were just crazy things of, I don't know, bad luck or lack of this or lack of that. And it wasn't about him and as a coach. Mm. Steve Compella, first of all, I was, he was my coach at under-20 national team, yeah. under-23 national team. Very good coach, Aksi coach Rasai. He believes in skillful players, South African players. He allows players to express themselves, but play mm. with instructions. Yes. He wants players to follow his instructions. So I was surprised some of the players at Kaza Chiefs failing to express. Mm. But I understand the Lemina when I watch Ichimga Steve. Whoever left the foundation there when Steve took over, mm. that was the problem. In mess I call with Steve Compare. Mm. There was mess before. Mm. So the question, any bengi bengi mang pegi Ichimga Steve. Me and among each check deeply. There was people that were involved. Yeah, about more shy. Yeah, in terms of about a phone which is then. That's what I mean among observe it. Amongst them are playing. Because it, it goes in my own gushuti I'm sorry, it's him young. Yeah. Because who Steve Magafiga, I know it's him that Steve could play football and Zali the under Steve. Mm. He's, he is a car is a guy who allow my player, especially because there are resources. Coach mentioned in if if you allow if you you were supportive enough resources, allow coach to appoint players that he want so that he build the philosophy. He has to build the culture and build the philosophy. Appoint the right people in the technical team, he has to appoint the way. Whoever that will come, it must be a coach. Mm. It is easy and good. I need him. You finally see him a coach. It's when, and give time. Mm. You cannot build a house overnight. He found the foundation, he foundation will fall. Yeah. You understand? Remember, a coach cannot stay there forever. Yeah. Especially in South Africa, I've seen it, I've witnessed that. And even if they could as well, there were people that will come in. But on J Lang and the player power because Abanda Banning Bazo Bozo go to Kazuki no junior manga be etic nabajal abacona paratic round in among a phone which coach you win. In the cyborg nugget, and I'm sure we might love a fun and about Chelsea under Jose Mourinho after the incident. There, uh, yeah, about no the medical lady got the corner lap and the new born about the look at I have a Sam Jale Jose have a sign in the by first it goes in a body language, yeah. A so called senior players, uh, that's why my coach my figure get rid of senior players, so called yes. senior players, about clicks, yeah. The, mm. He doesn't charge, he comes. You give every body 11, V11, Ogani, clever code, they too small sided. Mm -hmm. And then they check body language, they check maybe after training. Ogani, first training, Maba Shai Whistle, or good the body language, what? Imche, I won't get It does other code they don't have to ask. And then it says that and that a week, it's mm -hmm. enough. This part, this one, is on Moshela, it's him. Whatever I'm trying to build is influence. If I take him on the stand, I want him to motivate these kids, but I can see his influencing. It tells I, I, a clever coach is very easy. It would have won. So, a book pendulum jumbuso or corma. Umbuzili would eat him who goes the easy be more of compete in it. Mm. As in she do need a knowledgeable coach. Right. It depends which team a coach and it, it goes. We are check it team and then we check a coach with his work. A knowledgeable coach. Because mm -hmm. in South Africa, I, I, I fail to understand why. Our chairman, they don't believe in South Africa. There are many South African coaches that are knowledgeable, mm -hmm. but not been given a fair chance, like mm -hmm. Europeans. So you need to appoint knowledgeable coach and sit down with him. Mm -hmm. I need our resources support from you. If I need somebody, and then check the development structure. Right. He's going to work with the development. Mm -hmm. He has to, his development it must be strong, same. I, culture must be the same. Yeah. Connect me, a coach, a team in development is play. Such a language, a strong element. Yeah. Players don't play there. Yeah. They will never play. Load, yeah. load. After the coach left, they will come back. So, um, niggas cut and then he, he, uh, coach, um, child with coach, this is the time, probably four years. Yeah. May not believe for and relax, relax for giving trophy. I'm telling you that team will play more conti I'm I'm in Yara, not Because uh, uh, the generation. But that's an important thing. Uh, clean Manoy Shoyo and coach. I mean, help us here because these are facts that he's talking about, but we yeah. don't see it. Yeah. The reality is not there. It escapes us after a couple of games, and then the club owner's like, I know, I'm done with this one. And they bring some person with no track. We've seen coaches come to South Africa. Mm. We didn't know about. They come and they become a big shot, 
and then they leave. And when they do leave, still we don't know where they are because they've not gone on to do bigger and better things. They've just been swallowed by the world somewhere there. Yeah. How, do we how do we avoid that that he's pointing out? I, thi I think the most important thing is to believe in South African coaches. Yeah. Um, they, they understand the dynamics. They understand, they understand how a vendor boy behaves, mm. how a Zulu boy behaves. Yes. They understand the, the different levels of, of, um, of, of um, respect. Uh, there are some cultures, they're not allowed to look at you in your eyes. Mm. It's disrespect. You must look, look at one away. side. Yeah. So you can't shout at him. Yeah. It's understanding the dynamics of the, of the, uh, the cultural um, dynamics. Um, but also, also um, you, you know, understanding where you want to go. Understanding that it's not a fly-by-night situation. Mm. Understanding also something very important that you mentioned, that Junior mentioned, was that you also have players, and he'll, he'll testify to that, players who talk to the owners. And that's where the problem starts. Mm. So that's so it's a direct line. There's a direct line. Yeah. So they're jumping you. They're jumping the coach. Yeah. Okay. And they go and talk there. That's where that's where a lot of problems also start. And and you've got to cut that very f the, 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 the the team owner must ma or team owners must know that there's a line. Yeah. You are in charge of that team, and fully in charge. Nobody breaks the wall and, and, and goes to management and starts talking there, that is the first demise of any team. Sure. So I think, it's, I, think it, I think it's important that we get those things right. Once you've, once you've got that right, it's, it's a recipe for success. Yeah, for my of that. Ivar, uh, uh, true. Yeah. Uh, I think in Amar, some of the owners, yeah. they call players born. Hmm. You understand? And they're wrong, because you'll get a different reference. Because I don't think there is a player that will talk bad about mm. himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no player that will talk bad about himself. Yeah. He will say, no, the coach, they will ask him. Yeah. And then probably if the coach is doing well, he will say, I know, so far is good. But once he will wait for something bad, mm. especially if he's not playing. And then he will go that, no, he, he's not a good coach. He must mm. find someone. That will be because he's not playing. So he's trying to influence everything I, I, to players and also to the chairman. And it's bad. It's, so it's true, coach. But that's what I was saying. It's wrong. If you appoint the coach, mm. you, give, he, you give him a platform. Support. Yeah. Whenever he say you need this, just be supportive and give a benefit of the doubt. And then it's when, when time goes, it's when you can say, no, coach, one, two, three, four. In a professional manner. Not with players that they see, because sometimes it goes very different. Also, Kosha ba nikala. I got on the season. Nangfunu was clean man. Uti imu pumka kwe shwe boil and gano pochu zwa yo sending zem Africa ba zom Kosha kala. I can guarantee you, very knowledgeable coach, top class coach, but Kronolo CM I won't finish the season there due to the main day the bam nigga one. It's abnormal for me. Very knowledgeable coach. And then it kills the reputation, the guy who, pr who built himself from Plumfontein Celtics, the team that mm. in a problem of financial, players that from nowhere, from the street, from Plumfontein, took them, make them something else. And then get him, give him a mandate. Now if he fails... Ish. But that's a sad <laughs> part though, because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's a conversation that I, I hate, but... That's what we've brought ourselves to, Owen, where yeah. we're almost guessing before season starts who will get the chop first. Yeah. There should be more respectability. Going back to our initial discussion, yeah. uh, to say respect the coaches, let them know in time. Don't tell them a game before that we are selling the team. Guess what? You have a contract that's still left, but guess what? We don't need you anymore. Like, really? Yeah. You know, so we just got to... Uh, I suppose in 20 seconds, yeah. how do we reassure South Africans that things can get better? I think, you know, there's a, there's a group, and I think he's on the group as well, a coaches group in South Africa, yeah. where the Steve Compellas, the everybody's on it. Mm. And there's really so much support there for each other. And, and I think, um, you know, it's, it's, it's important that the South African coaches stick together. They support each other. They respect each other. And where they can help each other, they help each other. 
But I definitely think that we need more respect for South African coaches. We need more respect for South African coaches. Those days of just bringing a, a coach that was a basketball coach <laughs> to the Olympics <laughs> and he comes in coaches, it, it has happened. Exactly. No, I know the guy. <laughs> it's a reality. <laughs> You really a basketball coach comes in and, and, and coaches <laughs> in the PSL. No, and but but coach, but I'm no man, Jack. To I boil it. Nice, uh, happy people. We good. Yeah, but I'm no man, Jelly Amund. No, but wrong <laughs> rope. Give him the, 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 the give him the resource. Yeah. Everything and then you must check how we <laughs> set up his cones and stuff. Yeah. It's, it will tell you that the training method is out of order. Hey, yeah. as, 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 I'm, as I'm so glad basketball, as I'm so glad basketball, Papa, thank you so much, ODG. Thank you, thank really, you. really appreciate it. But I'm done. So, <laughs> wonderful next week. What's up? Clean man, clean man, clean man. The work is the man is clean and a prat. As I'm